What's up, everybody? This is Michael from Detail in the Shadow. I'm going to do a quick video regarding uh, color correction in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. I have Lightroom 4. Uh, they have some newer ones, but this one was... Um, uh, this one is well equipped if you have the newer one or Lightroom 4. It all should be the same. Um, I want to give a shout out to the dark room. Uh, I've used them to process my film twice and um, they always do a good job, always do uh, a speedy job um, with getting your film uploaded so you can, um, uh, well the scans uploaded so you can download them and you know, you can see them. You don't have to wait for them to actually mail you uh, the CD back because I was like, ooh, I'm ready, I'm ready to see, I want to see. Um, so yeah, uh, and I think they use a 10-bit scanner because the color space on this is really gorgeous. Um, all right. Well, first, you just want to uh, open up the Lightroom and you want to go over to the uh, folder tab and uh, open up a new folder and select whatever folder you want from your hard drive or uh, USB or whatever, what have you. Um, and then you just want to go over to the develop section and uh, go through and normally what I do I know uh, a lot of the, the tough guy photographers tough guy photo editors won't uh, admit to doing this I always like to use the let the Lightroom has a very powerful algorithm that's why you buy it for it's the, the power of it you know there's other other things that you can do photos with but it's very powerful I always go to the auto and I, I see what does the Lightroom algorithm see and then I make the adjustments to the way that I want it after I do the uh, auto setting so um, after I uh, run through all the settings I normally you know just the contrast you can do the blacks uh, for film I, I always like to bring the blacks down because that really uh, helps with uh, reciprocity because like I said you want a true black and a true white and all in all you do at least want a true black you don't want you know hazy blacks or hazy milky white uh, blacks then I like to run down to the sharpening set tool that's a very um, very powerful tool um, be sure not to over sharpen uh, just uh, work with the sharpening a little bit of the radius and the detail and if you want to do noise reduction you do noise reduction but I, I rarely do noise reduction because uh, you know a little bit of noise is not that bad a little bit of grain but uh, you're not gonna have much noise um, just with film scans so you don't have to worry about that too much unless you can like I said do it to your taste just want to let you know and then um, you know you can you know go back over I always like to add a little clarity it always like it always sort of um, brightens and, and sharpens not really like sharpen as like focus sharp but sharpens the image up a little bit and, and separates the colors and there you have it. The, you have the, the before that uh, was kind of washed out. And then you have the after with the colors nice and nicely saturated. And, and the uh, blacks and the, uh, the highlights are right on point. And there we have uh, the finished image uh, from start to finish. You know, the before and the after. And then, you know, just to run through it again, you know, just... Um, Go to the image, select the image that you'd like, and uh, I, like I said, I, I run through the auto setting just to see what Lightroom sees. Because um, and be sure, oh, this is big. This is big. Always calibrate your monitor, no matter what monitor you're using, even if you're doing it on an iPhone. Calibrate your monitor, and just uh, like I said, see what Lightroom sees. Then run through all your settings. You know your highlights, and make sure it's to your taste, because everything is to your taste. You know, um, you know, white balance is really not subjective, but everything else is you know you want to have spot on colors but everything like the shadows the highlights the details it's all to your taste so be sure and um, finish it off then you have the before and after you can see how it's kind of washed out and then afterwards you have nice rich color and then you just um, export them uh, choose a folder and there you have it and um, like I mentioned before um, just trying to give you guys the best info 
try to be a good teacher to you guys if you don't already know and if you already know heck we can we can watch and learn together because i'm still learning i like to keep this learning process and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and if you share a video or two or all of them if you like it really helps me out like i said i'm trying to keep this traveling up i'm trying to keep this channel interesting and relevant and um i love the guy i love the help that you, everyone's given me thank you all love you all bye